G'day, my name is Greg. I'm a dog owner and trainer, and I'm a volunteer instructor in a general dog behavior and obedience work at a local all breeds dog club. Welcome to my series of videos and my dog training ideas. I've got a Newfoundland dog, and as I train my Newfie for water rescue work, I've been asked to share some fundamentals of my training methods and the progression of skills the dog must learn. So, this is the first in a series of short videos about training a Newfie for water work. I'll be showing you the steps I have taken with my Lancia Newfoundland girl, Nemesis, in the development of a natural desire to swim and to rescue people from the water. Now the training I will describe and demonstrate in these videos is sometimes referred to as back chaining because blocks of knowledge or dog skills are built up with the dog and eventually linked together to perform the target activity rather than just hoping the dog will perform the full activity from the get-go for example jumping in the ocean and saving that drowning person through pure instinct or pulling a, 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 an abandoned boat to shore. Why is this stepwise training approach necessary? Although you can find stories of Newfoundland dogs with highly developed water rescue instincts, believe it or not, I've met a number of Newfoundland dogs which don't even like going in the water, mainly because they lack the proper early introduction to swimming and wave action. Of course, you don't know their history and whether they did have training, but in any case, it's a real pity if a Newfie won't go in the water. You know, they don't have web feet for no reason. So as always, please remember you are the trainer and the intellect in the partnership with your dog. So you need to assess how the lessons I will demonstrate might be relevant to you and how to apply them. These videos show what I have done and am doing. It's not always one size fits all. I really encourage you to research the breed of dog that you have, in my case in Newfoundland, and the advice of other trainers. Again, making your own analysis and assessment of the value of what they suggest to your dog and your circumstances. Always have fun training your dog. When we train, Nemi and I have lots of laughs at successes and failures, and we enjoy the companionship as Nemi develops her natural talents and our bond, trust, and relationship builds. If you like this approach, and you'd like to see the next episodes in this series, in which we eventually get around to rescuing swimmers, consider hitting the subscribe button and follow the, the future episodes and the progressive development of this water rescue training of NEMI. Either way, keep training. Persistence and patience with positive outcomes for the dog are the keys. So, let's just start with some puppy basics in this first video from my archives of when NEMI was quite young. <music> 